This is Craig Hogard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. Well, the corn market traded lower yesterday on planting progress in pretty favorable weather conditions. Not all is rosy, however, as there are some concerns about corn not getting planted in portions of North Dakota, and the crop is getting way too much rain in portions of Ohio and Illinois. The weekly ethanol report uh, was encouraging. It showed an increase in production of 46,000 barrels per day over the previous week. At the same time, we saw ethanol stocks experience a drawdown for the week of 600,000 barrels. In the overnight trade, we have spot corn futures trading a half cent lower as I record this. The soybean market was higher yesterday on the expectation of more Chinese buying of U.S. beans, with some additional support coming from strengthening in the Brazilian real and reports of Brazil being nearly sold out of the recently harvested soybean crop. In the overnight trade, spot soybean futures are retracing a bit of yesterday's move higher, uh, trading two and a half cents lower as I record this. The wheat markets had a great day yesterday as renewed concerns of dryness in the EU, Russia, and Black Sea region are expected to result in production cuts for those areas. Minneapolis wheat drew additional support from delayed plantings in North Dakota and northwestern Minnesota. In the overnight trade, we're seeing a continuation of that move higher, with Chicago six cents higher, while Kansas City and Minneapolis are both trading up four and a quarter cent as I record this. Cotton futures experienced a setback on Wednesday. The July futures finished 99 points lower as they settled at 58.21. In the overnight trade, we're seeing a continuation of that slippage with spot futures down an additional 55 points. Livestock futures had a tough session yesterday. August live cattle futures finished the day at $1.45 lower, while August feeder cattle were $2.92.5 lower at the close. Lean hog futures were weaker as well, with the July futures down 47.5 cents as the closing bell rang. Class 3 milk futures extended their recent run higher, with the June futures up 43 points as they settled at 17.71. Uh, in the overnight trade, we're slipping a bit, uh, down 26 points as I record this. And meat cutout values were a mixed bag yesterday. Choice box beef was $5.43 lower as it closed at $404.04 per hundredweight. Select boxes were $2.31 higher as they settled at $3.91.18. Pork carcass cutout values were a bit stronger as well yesterday, finishing $2.22 higher as they settled at $99.92 per hundredweight. This has been Craig Haugard with your Financial Issues Ag Update. We'll be right back with more financial issues after this.